I am back in Missouri, St. Louis to be exact, for work. Um, had a really oddly, obscenely early day at work today. And I didn't want to sit around in a hotel room for 10 hours waiting on bedtime. I've already explored downtown. I've already checked out the arch. So I got to looking around to see what was within an hour or two's driving time. Turns out Hannibal, Missouri is. Hannibal might be a familiar name to you, and you may not know why, but Hannibal was made famous by a guy named Sam Clemens. You may also know him as Mark Twain. He wrote a little book, kind of an icon, iconic piece of American literature called The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, um, that was based on his childhood growing up on the Mississippi River and Hannibal. What I did not know about that is many of the places there actually exist, like the cave that he made so famous, and they recently found his signature on the wall of that cave, and it is a thing that you can go to and take tours of, and so that's what we're setting out to try to do today. Well, there he is, the mighty Mississippi. Rolling up into Hannibal now. Welcome to Historic Hannibal, as they say. How cool is that building? So we have indeed hit the jackpot. They are open, and I got here five minutes before the next tour started, so it's pretty great. Um, and we're going to check this out. So that's the 1890 entrance, apparently. But apparently, up yonder, as they might say, is where the initial cave, how it was initially discovered. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to do this. Okay, that's a cool survey map of the cave. signed and dated the cave September 22nd of 1879. He had robbed a train south of Hannibal, so he was in here trying to hide from the sheriff and find his name. These were right here. Those are called calcite nodules. We're going to see those throughout the tour today. And the early explorers thought they found diamonds. He also went by the name Mark Twain. He played in this cave as a young boy. And he wrote his name. Careful, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's okay. Oh. Now there's some artwork along the way. Up here on the ceiling, guys, you can see a picture of Mark Twain. That was put up there in 1920. They were up here and they stopped to rest. Becky came over and leaned against the wall and felt furry because it was bats. She felt those bats and she screamed. Well, when she screamed, she scared them. They began flying all around this panel, making all these shadows. One of them flew too close and knocked out the light. Sorry. All right, so they were left in the dark. Do you think you could find your way out like this? No. Yeah, me neither. We're gonna turn the lights back on and we're gonna try Okay, so basically, having to retell you guys everything she's saying for um, reasons, and having to hang back behind the group, um, but yeah, back here, I know my passage that it's now dark was an area where Norman Rockwell painted an oil painting called Tom and Becky Lost in the Cave. Um, it was a commissioned work that got donated to the local museum. <clears throat> I'm forgetting half the information, she said. But this place is amazing. So yeah, that, that little autograph there is going to be 1877. All three of those gentlemen survived the Civil War. Suppose it could be in here? I tell you, I saw him. There's your cross up above. And I reckon that rock might be a number two. 
Well, let's get down this way. Aha! We got it at last! Oh, I thought we were rich, Tom. I always reckoned we'd hit it. Let me see if I can lift the box. All right, so that was Mark Twain Cave in Hannibal, Missouri. Um, we may not have gotten um, all the footage we wanted to get and the best of all the footage we wanted to get because we did have some extenuating circumstances. Tried to edit out as much as I could. Um, but you know what? God bless them for trying and getting the kids out of the house and and doing something with them. That's, there's no shame in that. But uh, we, we worked around it the best we could. I hope that we were able to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on in Mark Twain Cave. It's a super cool place and it's a super cool tour. The folks here are incredibly, incredibly friendly, super nice. I talked with her a little bit after the, after the tour about different things. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend coming and throwing your hard earned cash at these people and checking out the Mark Twain Cave. I hope you enjoyed um, today's video. If you did, please like, please subscribe. Um, go to waywardstories.com and then you can find all the, all the things, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, all the things that we have on the interwebs. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.